of your in sprint planning, how is it that how is it that having the team quickly assess the complexity of stories? How is that going to work? Well, I assume you're you are familiar with uh, poker planning, and, and maybe you just need a little bit more information about how this works. Uh, maybe you have a new team. Maybe you have a team of developers, but they're not used to working with testers, and you have uh, some conflict between the testers and developers on 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 how to come up with one number that represents the amount of effort that the, the each story is for the whole team. So we're doing team we're doing team uh, estimations, or, or and we're estimating using complexity, not time. Uh, if you don't know, uh, for example. What we try to do with a group of people, what we want to do with a group of people is leverage our group think and group intelligence in order to come up with a number. So we have a number, we, we show them a user story, we introduce the user story to them during sprint planning, and you can also use this process during poker planning, but since the group size is so much smaller, it helps you in two hours, have a two-hour poker planning meeting to, to, to get these, um, to answer those four criteria that we talked about in the other segment about, about uh, backlog grooming. So for spring planning and also for poker planning, you ask them, for this story, what size do you think it is? And you use poker planning. So you might have two people. These are people in Chinese then. Um, two people say they're an 8. Two people, one person says it's a 16. The other two say it's a 32. So what do you do? Well, we figure out how to, get, how to, to uh, converge now to a, 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 a one number. So you have the team, that you ask the people on the low end, talk to the people on the high end in this meeting, and, and discuss for maybe two to five minutes about why it's an eight or why it's a 32. So each party discusses and discusses. Now here's the note of caution. is Some part people will keep discussing on trying to convince people about how complex it is. But even while the eights are discussing to everyone else and 32s are discussing everyone else, these, everyone's really changing the numbers in their head. They still want to discuss more and more because uh, developers and, and testers are very analytical people and they'll want to discuss it down to the very detail. But that's not necessary. All that's necessary is we converge to one number and then we can figure out more details about, uh, we can worry about those details once the sprint gets started. All we want right now is a good estimate that will tell us how much work this will be for the team. Okay, so you'll see some convergence to maybe the 8's convinced the 32's and they all converge to a 16. Maybe they don't. Maybe you see some convergence. Maybe the 32 turns to a 16 and there's still two 8's. And then after your second time, you should figure out a way to make a decision on what number it is. Uh, the main point is, is to figure out how to do this quickly. And how your team does it quickly will may be unique to your team. Uh, maybe you decide to always go with a high estimate after discussing it twice. Maybe you always go with a low estimate. Maybe you always pick the middle. Just make sure you honor your numbering system. In this case, you see it's a, a uh, geometric series. Now, you will also, if you have new team members, some teams don't have testers. Some teams have been trying to do, have been executing Scrum without testers, and when I coach them, I get, I get them to combine the teams in order to have potentially shippable code, meaning the code is at the, high, at the end of the sprint, the code's at the same level of, of quality as you would for a, re a release. And you can't do that without having uh, testers in your group. What will happen when you first start poker planning is the testers will have a story. And maybe the story is a perfect 50-50 split. Testers say, oh, this is a 16 amount of effort. The developers say, yeah, this is 16 amount of effort. Great, everybody says it's a 16. Sometimes you'll have a story like this, where the tester says, oh my gosh, it's a 32, there's so much to test. And the developer is an 8. Or maybe it's the opposite. The developer says there's so much to develop, 32, the tester says, oh, easy to test. Now, these team members, when they're new to thinking together and developing a group think and a group intelligence, they will resist uh, this behavior of working together to come up with one number that everybody's satisfied with because they are already, they're used to being siloed and they're used to uh, uh, doing all their estimates siloed. And breaking out of those silos is a difficult process and you have to keep coaching people to say, look, if you think it's an, uh, as a, if you're a tester and all the testers are saying 32 and the developers are saying 8, uh, keep in mind that there's, this is a whole team estimate. 
and so the developers would, should uh, hear the, what the testers are saying, and if they and they should start thinking about, well, yeah, there is a lot of testing. I should change my number to a 60 because there is a lot of testing. I'm not just going to think about my little piece, my side. Of it. So that's the the idea behind uh, poker planning, removing your teams to groupthink and group intelligence, and breaking down the silos between uh, developer roles. Remember, you're estimating for the whole team.